You got Sella Bjorn Bex and a fancy, fancy New Zealand musician. This guy is actually a singer, a songwriter. He's an independent artist from uh, Auckland. And he's, man, I, I've just seen the notes here about Dan, and he's reached over 2 million streams across all music platforms. That's 2 million more than Bjorn and I. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Dan Moorwood. Good morning, Dan. Hey, good morning. Thanks so much for having me today. It's, it's cool to be here. Our pleasure, bro. Our pleasure. Yeah, nice to have you. And how does it feel knowing 2 million people have listened to your music? It's quite, is that like overwhelming? Yeah, yeah it's actually really surreal because I think we often look at, you know, numbers on a screen. And we see numbers, but we forget that they're people. And and it's yeah, it's really humbling to know that there's people around the world that are enjoying what I've what I've created, and and that's what I also why I'm doing it, you know, to yeah. hopefully reach people. Any surprising because um, I know you get stats and stuff when you got your music online of like where your listeners come from and stuff. Do you get to see like what countries and that people are? Yeah, are you yeah. hearing your music. In? Yep, yeah. I know. I, I think I need to do a tour in Iceland or Norway oh. or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Oh, it can nice. be surprising. Oh, really? Yeah. How many? Yeah. How many out there? Oh, I'm not sure. It's hard to keep. You don't like actually all, all know all the data, but you yeah, know, it's Scandinavian fun to look at it. fan it's base. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's rewind the clock back a bit before you got to your fan base of uh, five, tw- twelve million people. <laughs> you, know, you started in your dad's church, so let's talk about your beginning. Yeah, so I grew up in a um, little small town called Mangatangi, which is you know farmlands. Grew up milking cows, all of that kind of thing. My dad's a pastor there. And so I grew up in church pretty much as soon as I could hold drumsticks. I was drumming in the band and then picked up guitar, started singing, writing, and I loved that. So finally got kind of more serious about it, and my brother-in-law pushed me, so I kind of started recording and went over to the States um, in 2016 and, and just had a crack at it and just went over on a work visa, got to meet some cool people, ended up getting offered a um, label contract, um, which was really kind of crazy, but then their values just weren't the same as mine. And it was a lot of praying and just figuring out, like, what am I willing to give up to um, try to, you know, achieve some success in this industry that can be quite cutthroat? So after a lot of that and realizing that it just wasn't the right match, um, I remained independent and it's been a cool journey and, and I've got some new stuff coming out. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it and it's, it's been the right choice. It's been cool. Sounds like someone needs to turn it into a movie, <laughs> you know? The story of Dan. Yeah, they're like, we want to we change your whole look. We're going to change your name. <laughs> yeah. We're going to give you a stage name. It is like that, isn't it? It's just like, <laughs> we're going to change you. Yeah, so it's interesting. <laughs> you yeah. talk about the, 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 the values that align with this record label. And so obviously your passion for your Christian faith is very, very strong and very important to you. So how do you, I mean, that, that must cause a few questions in your head about what you're doing and how you navigate that road? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think in the pop industry and also just in, in general in pop culture, social media, we're all trying to kind of put forward um, this image and often it can be quite fake and often we're kind of not really genuinely happy in it and might be losing part of ourselves. And so after a lot of that journey, I kind of realized I definitely don't want to give up my value system. I don't want to give up who I am just to kind of um, get, get ahead yeah, and conform. So that's actually the concept of this um, this project I've been working on, the EP, which is all about trying to um, stay true to yourself and, and actually be real in a world that can often be a bit um, a bit fake and a little bit, um, yeah, you know, tough. <laughs> Yeah, so could you tell us a little bit more about the EP? Are there any particular songs that speak to that for you and any more you can talk about the heart behind it? Yeah, awesome. So the EP is called Genuine and it will be coming out um, in July this year and and the concept and the heart behind it is pretty much um, to, you know, be true to yourself, don't give up who you are for somebody else, um, don't trade your values, you know, for approval and validation, all of that. And, um, yeah, the songs are really about just like, you know, coming as you are, being vulnerable and I think... Hopefully people can also feel God's heart. It isn't going to be a, a pop EP, but there's definitely a bit of uh, God's heart behind it, hopefully, where people will feel that and that if we can just be real with God, he loves us as we are, and um, and that's how we should approach him, you know? So Yeah, nice. That's awesome, bro. Um, so this is coming out. When is the EP coming out? Because you've got your first uh, song sort of coming out July. Is that when the EP drops as well? Yeah, it will be kind of slowly as a lot of music these days. It's like micro bits, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So it'll be slowly one song at a time starting from around July. So Nice. Yeah. Our... Is Bjorn, are uh, Bjorn and I are able to be in the music video? I would love that. Can I afford you? I don't know. Like, <laughs> you're dancing though. They're free. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. My, my people will talk to your people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I need to get more people. Yeah. <laughs> Just quickly before you jump into your song, is there a particular reason why you're doing an EP? Because that's only like four songs, right? As opposed to an album? Yeah. So um, this one has yeah, five songs, and I think I've only been releasing singles so far. So this is my first body of work. Oh. And and it just has a bit of a theme behind it a bit, which is which is fun to kind of create something a bit, you know, um, 
has it, that has a theme. Yeah, that's mm. awesome, Dan. Well, it's a pleasure having you in studio, man. We'll let you take the reins and introduce your song. Cool. Thank you so much. Yeah. So um, this is one of my songs that hasn't actually been released. It's from the EP. If you do want to check it out when it's um, out there, you can just find me online on all platforms, which is just Dan Millwood Music. Uh, Millwood's just M I L L W A R D. Nice so, going, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got to do it. Yeah. Thanks for having me, then. team. So here's a song. This is called All Along. This is just a nice, um, kind of upbeat, wholesome love song from the from the EP, actually. <laughs> I don't know, but darling, maybe Your sweet soul is what could save me Cause I was lost, but your love found me in the dark What if we just stayed a little longer Forgot about the world just for a while what if I had told you that my heart just wants to know you? What if I just asked you to be mine? Tough indeed, darling, you and I can be Just the very thing we needed all along I have seen all the beauty that's beneath now your love is the reason I feel wrong Lately You woke me up to a sweet daydream Love the dark is finally fading Now it's just us lying safe In this love So what if we just stayed a little longer and you and I exchange what's on our minds what if I had told you that my heart just wants to know you what if I just asked you to be mine tough and deep darling you and I can be just the very thing we needed all along All the beauty that's beneath Now your love is the reason I feel wrong I feel wrong It's the morning wake up with Stella, Bjorn and Bex Shut up bro Nice Shut up my man